Hi friends, in this session I am going to show how to handle exceptions for functional programming. In my previous session, using Spring WebFlux functional programming, we were able to create employee service. So we have created a router class which has uh, all the routes and the handler class which has defined the actual implementation. So now I am going to show how to handle exception. So I am going to create one more handle method which throws exception. So public mono server response we know handler method takes the input as server request and returns mono server response so i am returning mono server response Server response. So I'm going to give the name as get employee error emp underscore error. So it takes input as server request. So in this method, directly I'm throwing the runtime exception so that we have no need to handle that exception. So throw new runtime exception. I am giving message inside the exception as exception occurred. Exception occurred. So now uh, my handler method is completed. I am going to router class and I am going to create route for this exception. So I'll I am going to create a new router uh, for this exception thing. So it's a bean and it returns router function public router function of server response. And here I am giving route underscore error because it is for error handling. And it takes a handler method. So here also it's employee handler. So we are going to return router function. So I'm going to use routers functions route method. So return router functions. Router function has route method which has uh, one is with empty argument. Other one is with request predicate and handler. So I'm going to use uh, the one which is taking two arguments. So I'm going to use request predicate to give my uh, request details, request predicates. So uh, it's a get endpoint. So I'm using get and I'm giving the uh, URL as emp slash error. And handler function is uh, get the employee underscore error so I'm going to save this and start the server I have stopped MongoDB that's why it was giving connection refused Mongo socket open exception but anyhow we are not going to retrieve data from the DB now I'm going to hit my endpoint localhost 8080 local host 8080 slash emp slash error So we are able to retrieve the uh, error response. It's a default uh, implementation. It uh, gives as a map map of values. Uh, key is a string and value is a object. So it returns timestamp, path, status, error and message. So 
spring uh, flux by default uses uh, default error exception handler it uses default error exception handler web exception handler it extends abstract error web, web exception handler so in this uh, it returns the render error response is what the method uh, it, that is how we are able to see that uh, map detail so it returns map of data so ma from this map we are getting uh, all this timestamp uh, path status error message if we want to override this default behavior we can extend that abstract class and we can provide implementation further so now i am going to override this default implementation so i'm going to extend my def abstract error web exception handler class so i'm creating new package error demo dot error inside that i'm creating error handler class error handler so this error handler extends abstract web exception handler so we need to provide implementation for the default methods and we need to uh, it has a parameterized constructor we need to uh, add that so i am going to use a server codec configurer to set the encode and decode the server response so i'm using server codec configurer so it's a configurer i'm going to set write as message readers with the configure write readers get readers and similarly writers super dot set message writers i'm using configure writers dot get writers sorry dot get writers So if you go and see in the abstract uh, default exception handler, uh, default web exception handler, uh, the routing function takes error attribute. Error attribute has the all our error details. If you call uh, get error attributes method, that returns me map of error details. So with that error details, we can uh, override our existing behavior. So I'm using that same. It's a, it, we have to return the router function so I'm using routers functions route method routers functions route method I'm using same uh, with request predicate and handler so in the predicate I'm using request predicate dot all request predicates dot all so for all HTTP methods I want this implementation and herald handler uh, I am defining in the same class handle error I am giving name as handle error I am going to create that handle error method handle error method should return our uh, handler class should return server mono response so mono server response and I am passing error attribute so we need to add uh, import for mono
return so I am going to return server response so from error attribute I should be able to get my uh, error detail so I am going to use get error attribute method with request it takes uh, server request sorry handler mother takes server request request so request is request and by default include stack trace uh, we don't want to add that uh, stack trace so I'm using false I'm going to create one uh, private uh, instance variable sorry um, I'll get uh, it's their part of super so I can use that this dot get an uh, attribute method itself is there so it return it gives me the error map in that I'm going to return first I'm going to form my server response server response dot status if we, I want to set the status code that is HTTP uh, status dot internal server error and I'm going to add body so I informed uh, before in my previous session like we have uh, two types of body methods one is with body inserter other one is with sync body if you want directly pass the object we can go with sync body if you want to use through body inserters we can use body method so I'm using body inserters so body inserters inserters dot from body from object so here I can pass actual object so I'm going to use error dot get it's a map so with the key whatever the details if you see in this I am going to return only message attribute so I am going to use key as message this is my server response It returns me mono server response. Mono server response. So I need to return mono server response. So I'm just returning my response. So what I did is. I have extended my abstract error web exception handler so for the constructor default constructor I have added one more argument the server codec configurer with that I have set my readers and writers whatever from the configurer I am getting the reader I am setting to reader and for the writer I am setting writer so I am providing uh, default uh, implementation for the get routing function get routing function uh, we need to return the router function so by default router function route method takes uh, request predicate and the handler method so for the predicate I'm giving all and for handler uh, I'm going to return my error response whatever the error response I am expecting I'm returning so I'll save this and I'll run this application
this exception is yeah because of mongo we are getting so anyhow i'm not going to connect to mongo so i'm leaving that exception so now i'm going to postman and hit my uh, endpoint i want text response so i'm going to hit uh, so the changes are not taken um, so i think i have not added at the right component to this accept error handler class that's why it's spring is not picking this class so let me add component i need to add import for this component save this code and i'll restart my server again The server is started. Let me go and hit the endpoint. Yeah, whatever the exception message I have given, only we are getting the message. In the default implementation, we were getting map of uh, uh, values, but here, whatever the override behavior we did, we are getting. Uh, thank you, friends. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe it. Thank you.